Shalom, grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ. Let me give you guidance for the last chapter of 2 Corinthians. Let me read verse 1. This will be my third visit to you. Every matter must be established by the testimony of two or three witnesses. I already gave you a warning when I was with you the second time. I now repeat it while absent. On my return, I will not spare those who sinned earlier or any of the others. Since you are demanding proof that Christ is speaking through me, he is not weak in dealing with you, but is powerful among you. This is uh, the last uh, chapter of Second Corinthians, uh, and uh, Paul uh, said uh, he is going to visit Corinth church. Paul made the first uh, visit uh, for second for Corinth church for his second missionary journey. After that, uh, when he heard um, there were many problems uh, in Corinth church, he visited uh, for second uh, visit. But uh, they didn't respect uh, Paul, and um, Paul uh, had to leave uh, Corinth church uh, with a troubled heart. And uh, he wrote uh, another letter, which is called uh, the severe letter. When Corinth church received uh, the severe letter, they repented uh, of uh, their wrongdoings. And uh, Paul, um, Paul uh, made uh, uh, the letter of uh, the another letter, which is uh, what we read, uh, the book of Second Corinthians. And uh, Paul uh, now, he said, uh, he is going to visit the church again. Indeed, he visited uh, for his uh, third uh, missionary uh, uh, journey. Uh, for his uh, third mission, missionary journey, he didn't mention um, problems of uh, current church and probably um, um, issues uh, in current church were settled uh, before Paul came there. And uh, as I said, uh, there were uh, first apostles uh, and they uh, spread the wrong gospel, they led uh, the members uh, to into a wrong way. And uh, they said, some people said, um, Paul's uh, uh, letter has a very strong tone, strict tone, but uh, when Paul came there and met people face by face, uh, he uh, looked uh, weak. Uh. And, uh, but um, uh, Paul, uh, you know, is uh, not that kind of person. Yeah. Paul uh, delayed uh, his uh, vision on purpose uh, that uh, they may repent, uh, they may um, solve issues by themselves, uh, because uh, if uh, Paul uh, make uh, another visit to current church, yeah, it's not just uh, to give uh, simple, uh, simply uh, advice, uh, you know, but uh, he will make a visit to judge uh, people. Yeah. In church, yeah, the you know um, the heaviest the penalty. Yeah, is uh, excommunication and um, but the uh, Paul's case uh, the Holy Spirit's power uh, was uh, with uh, Paul and uh, when Paul tried to judge uh, them we may not what kind of punishment uh, the uh, people who are opposed to Holy Spirit might uh, have um, like um, you know, they might uh, become a leper, or they um, may uh, become you know 
blind people or mute people or, or they may even die yeah. and Paul uh, here strongly uh, urged uh, them to repent and uh, according to the church yeah, may resolve uh, their problems uh, by themselves uh, by the help of the um, Holy Spirit uh. and uh, verse uh, uh, 3 and uh, uh, 4 here, Paul uh, said, uh, Christ is uh, not weak. Um, he um, was, uh, when um, we think uh, the crucified Christ, uh, he uh, looked uh, weak, uh, right? But um, it's not because uh, he didn't have uh, power to, um, uh, you know, suppress, uh, to remove. Uh, the evil uh, power. Christ uh, became weak uh, on purpose uh, to save us uh, only. Likewise, uh, Paul didn't visit current church immediately. It's because uh, Paul would uh, wait uh, in mercy and in love uh, so that uh, Paul may not punish uh, the people who brought uh, troubles uh, to a uh, church yeah. right and uh, next uh, uh, verse uh, 5 uh, examine yourselves to see whether you are in the faith uh, test yourselves uh, do you not realize that Christ Jesus is in you unless uh, of course uh, you fail the test uh, and I trust that you will discover that we have not failed the test uh, now we pray to God that you will not do anything wrong. Not that people will see that we have stood the test, but that you will do what is right, even though we may seem to have uh, failed. Paul here urged the current church members um, to see themselves thoroughly to check whether they are really uh, saved uh, people or not. Um, we may, we can, we should apply it to our ourselves uh, too. Yeah. How can we um, know the Holy Spirit is with us? Jesus uh, is uh, in us. Uh. There might be uh, several uh, ways. Um, first, um, the Bible says uh, we can't confess Jesus is uh, Lord without the Holy Spirit. Uh, if you have uh, such a confession, it is um, uh, one of the uh, proofs uh, Jesus is uh, in you. And uh, you try to uh, forgive uh, others in the name of Jesus and love others uh, in the name of Jesus uh, too. That is uh, um, also um, uh, proof. Uh, and uh, you um, try to be led by a Holy Spirit. Uh, you try to listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit through the uh, Bible and live uh, according to His guidance. Uh, that is uh, uh, true. And uh, when you sing hymns to the Lord, when you read the Bible, you feel the grace of God, right? That is uh, also one of the proofs. Uh, the Holy Spirit is uh, with us. Uh, uh, you yeah. and um, from Christianity is uh, not a uh, mere religion but a uh, life uh, in which yeah, we live uh, together with uh, Jesus uh, and uh, we follow Jesus we serve Jesus as a uh, Lord right uh, the uh, last one uh, verse 11 Finally, brothers, goodbye. Aim for perfection. Listen to my appeal. Be of one mind. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. Or the saints send their greetings. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Verse uh, 11. Uh, sanctification is important to Christians. Um, we can't uh, live a perfect life in this world, uh, but our life um, is a kind of pro process uh, 
to become holy and holier, to be sanctified more and more in our whole life. So we have to make an effort for perfection, to conform to the image of Jesus Christ. Listen to my appeal, according to the church members, they have to listen to Paul's advice. And uh, we, we also have to listen to his, uh, 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 you know, his uh, advice uh, by taking the principle of uh, his advice uh, to, and we will, we have to apply it, apply them into our life. Uh, be of uh, one mind, live in peace. Uh, you should uh, make a good harmony in, uh, in church. Yeah. And uh, verse 14, May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Mm, pastors, uh, reverend, they uh, give a benediction in the time of uh, ending in service. Uh, and benediction is based on this uh, verse. Uh, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ uh, uh, means uh, we are saved uh, by Christ's uh, sacrifice. Uh, yeah. This is a grace uh, because it's uh, given to us for free. And the love of God, uh, we uh, think of God who sent uh, His only begotten Son um, for us. Uh, how great His love uh, is. Uh, and next, uh, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Uh, after Jesus uh, was ascended into heaven, Holy Spirit uh, was sent to us, uh, and uh, He is uh, each of uh, believer of Jesus, uh, and um, uh, uh, so He is uh, with uh, us. Uh, he guides uh, us. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, uh, this is uh, for uh, today, and. Uh, Thank you um, that you have uh, joined the um, um, pilgrim's uh, journey too. And I believe uh, God has abundantly blessed uh, you in uh, this uh, spiritual uh, exercise uh, through uh, uh, the book of Second Corinthians. So thank you so much uh, that uh, you have uh, joined uh, my uh, video guidance. Uh, all right, uh, let us pray uh, together. Heavenly uh, Father, thank you that uh, you have uh, blessed uh, us um, through uh, Pilgrim's uh, Journey Part uh, 2. Lord, um, uh, we are uh, privileged uh, to study the book of Second Corinthians uh, by writing and also by meditating on it. Uh, Lord, uh, we pray uh, that um, uh, your words uh, uh, may remain in our hearts, uh, Lord. And uh, we also pray that um, uh, not only uh, we read and study uh, this uh, book, Second Corinthians, uh, but also we uh, remember the lessons always uh, and uh, we meditate uh, on it. And we uh, may uh, indeed uh, apply the lessons into our uh, life. Uh, oh Lord, uh, thank you uh, that uh, we may have uh, a chance uh, to be closer uh, to uh, you. We uh, love you, uh, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.